A common place that we use cryptography today is through encrypted networking protocols. The protocols that we use are going to be SSL or TLS, SSH, and IPsec. When we talk about SSL and TLS, the first thing I have to say is don't use SSL. It is old, it's bad, it's broken. Use TLS, and we should be on TLS 1.2 at the moment, and TLS 1.3 is currently in draft format as of this recording. But anyways, what we use TLS for is going to be any client to server communications. So a common place that we use this is in our websites. Like if you want to go shopping on Amazon or if you want to connect to your bank, anything that we're going to send credit card information or bank account information, that kind of stuff, we use TLS. It is also commonly used in VPNs. So if you're going home and working from home for the day and you use your VPN client in order to connect in, something like um, Cisco's AnyConnect, then that would probably be using TLS. It's not the only choice, but that is a common use of TLS. SSH is not usually client-server. This one is used for uh, most commonly administrators connecting into their routers or their switches for, uh, for configuration purposes. So instead of using the old Telnet, don't panic. <laughs> Telnet is old and bad, don't use it. We use SSH in order to have an encrypted communication with our routers. It can also be used as a VPN protocol. IPsec is a different creature altogether. IPsec, I think it was invented to solve everybody's problems. So it can actually be used for just about anything that you could imagine where we have a network connection that needs to be protected. So a common use for this is router-to-router -router communications. And guess what? It can also be used for VPN communications. So that's just a couple of the uses, just the basic idea. But there really is three protocols, TLS, SSH, and IPsec.